Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Define simple and compound propositions and distinguish between simple and compound propositions. Let's have a quick review again about sentences. But this time, let us identify if it is simple or compound. Number one, what's your favorite telenovela? This is simple sentence. Number two, let's watch another simple sentence. Number three, the girls are watching and the boys are playing. This is C, compound sentence. Number four, if you are watching The House Arrest of Us, then you are a fan of Danielle Padilla or Katrin Bernardo. This is a compound sentence. And last one, it is a nice telenovela. It made me laugh and cry. This is a compound sentence. To differentiate, a simple sentence contains one independent clause, meaning it expresses only one complete thought just like number one and number two, while compound sentence is a sentence that connects two independent clauses, like the girls are watching, the boys are playing. These are two independent clauses that are connected by the word and. Same thing is true for number four and number five. There is also simple and compound proposition. When we say simple or primitive proposition, it has a single idea. It cannot be broken down into simpler propositions, and it does not contain connectives or logical operators. The equivalent of connectives or logical operators in English sentences are conjunctions. When we say compound or composite proposition, it has more than one idea. It can be broken down into two or more propositions, and it is formed using connectives or logical operators. So what are these connectives or logical operators? Given the propositions P and Q, we have the following connectives. Negation, meaning not. Conjunction, we have end. Disjunction, or. Implication, if, then and by conditional, if and only if. Let us try this. Study the following. Write SP if it is a simple proposition, CP if it is a compound proposition, or NP if it is not a proposition. Number one, I am a content creator. Can we further break this down into simpler proposition? No. So meaning this is a simple proposition. Number two, my name is Christy C. Cruz and my students call me Mom C. Cube. Can we further break this down into simpler propositions? Yes, we could. My name is Christy C. Cruz and another one is my students call me Mom C. Cube. Since we were able to break this down into simpler propositions, then this is a compound proposition. Number three, this YouTube channel is for students or teachers or parents. Can we break this down further? Yes, it could be this YouTube channel is for students, this YouTube channel is for teachers, and this YouTube channel is for parents. So this is a compound proposition. Number four, Please subscribe and share my channel. Can we further break this down? Yes, we could. Please subscribe and share my channel. But wait, please subscribe and share my channel are both imperative. So meaning, this is not a proposition. Last one, if you are watching attentively, then you will learn this lesson. Can we further break this down? You are watching attentively, you will learn this lesson. So this is a compound proposition. Let's have another activity. Break me into pieces. Identify the simple propositions of the compound proposition and indicate the corresponding logical operators. P sub 1 is the proposition if 12 is an even number, 
then 12 is divisible by 2. So what are the two propositions that we can form from this compound proposition? One is 12 is an even number. Another one is 12 is divisible by 2. Now, what is the logical operator that we use here? It is if, then. If B, then D. If 12 is an even number, then 12 is divisible by 2. Let's have another one. P sub 2 is the proposition. A regular polygon is a closed-sided figure and has congruent sides. One proposition that we can form here is a regular polygon is a closed-sided figure. Another proposition that we can form is a regular polygon has congruent sides. Now, what is the logical operator that we use here? We use and. M and N. A regular polygon is a closed-sided figure and has congruent sides. Another one. P sub 3 is a proposition. Either the vendor forgives the thief or he sends the thief to jail. One proposition that we can form here is the vendor forgives the thief. And another proposition is he sends the thief to jail. What logical operator did we use? We use OR. U or V. U, the vendor forgives the thief or he sends the thief to jail. Let's have another one. P sub 4 is the proposition two angles are complementary if and only if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees. One proposition is two angles are complementary. Another one is the sum of two angles is 90 degrees. So what logical operator did we use? If and only if. Proposition F, if and only if. Proposition G, F, two angles are complementary if and only if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees. For the summary, here are the things that we discuss in this lesson. Take time to read this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Study the following. Write capital SP if it is a simple proposition. Capital CP if it is a compound proposition and underline the logical operator or operators or capital NP if it is not a proposition. Number one, height is might and it matters. This is a compound proposition. One proposition is height is might. Another one is height matters. And the logical operator that we use here is and. Number two, there are seven colors in the rainbow. Can we further break this down? No. So this is a simple proposition. This is a proposition because this is a declarative sentence and you can find its truth value. And yes, there are seven colors in the rainbow. Number three, love your enemies and forgive their faults. Can we further break this down? Yes. Love your enemies, forgive their faults. But wait, not because you see the word end, this is already a compound proposition. Love your enemies and forgive their faults are both imperative. So this is not a proposition. Last one, if it is storm signal number two, then there are no classes at secondary level. Can we further break this down? Yes, we could. It is storm signal number two. There are no classes at secondary level. So this is a compound proposition. The logical operator that we use here is if then gets. We will talk more about logical operators in our next lesson.